Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be taking a look at the redesigned App Store in iOS 11. Now in iOS 11 the App Store has been redesigned as I said and this is partly due to the fact that the App Store is almost 10 years old now, I think it's just crossing 9 years old. Uh, so Apple decided that it's time for a refresh and to give it more life and to give it a new look. So if I open it up you'll see straight away you've got this brand new look which is completely different to how it was before. Now you may notice throughout as we go through this video you'll notice that a lot of it is similar to sort of the redesigns that have been made with Apple Music. So it's adopted these sort of rounded bubble or you know sort of panels here and there and uh, everything just looks more, much more refined than it was before. So at the top you do actually have your account uh, icon so if you tap here you'll access your account information. Uh, that was previously at the bottom so previously you had to scroll to the bottom and then you can tap on view apple id so that's been relocated to the top which i guess is nice it means it's a much more uh, easy to access place instead of having to scroll down here you can see we've got a welcome to the new app store so this is just an article written by apple sort of on the front page uh, so when people first enter the new design they can sort of learn about it and how it came about and uh, all the different sections which obviously i'll go through in this video now one thing i will say is these icons here they haven't actually changed since I installed iOS 11 and that's because this is just sort of a front page um, sort of starter content that's just been put there this stuff isn't updated at the moment obviously when iOS 11 comes out as a final download you'll see that it will all update properly uh, you can see it says null uh, because there's nothing here but you get the idea so this is sort of placeholder stuff but these are apps that you can go and download so here you've got your main today page which is what it's called and it basically shows apps of the day, uh, sort of popular apps that are sort of trending on the store and gives you a few other items around. So it's nice to have that, it's a clean design, you can scroll through stuff and discover new things. Now the next tab here is games, so one of the reasons Apple have actually made this a dedicated section in the new app store is because it is such a popular category of apps. So most of the downloads actually on iOS are games so it's now its own section and you see it adopts this same sort of view however here we have more apps on the screen so we've got um, panels where you can scroll uh, you know sort of scroll sideways to view more content uh, you can scroll up here as well and you get these large thumbnails I don't know why that one's not loading but uh, that's the, uh, that is and you've got some trailers here so this one's auto played and switch the volume on if I wanted um, tap on it to view fully uh, and you get the idea so you can go ahead and buy them straight away here it displays the prices with nice buttons so you can quickly tap them and if we continue to scroll down we can get more categories and it's just a nicely laid out section I think uh, you've got some new games that you might like and uh, there's all sorts of stuff so this is definitely great next is apps so this is where you can find all other apps that are sort of featured and ones which are, are being promoted by Apple so you see we've got a nice one about David Attenborough here and some new apps, so I know Things Free is a new app and that's just here. And while we're there actually, this is the new app viewer. So the app viewer has been redesigned to bring the content forward more. Uh, so you've got nice big app icons, you've got your nice uh, big artwork here which displays everything about the app. You've got your star rating, your price, uh, your ratings over here and then you've got your reviews down here with nice sort of clear panels so you've got that you've got your other information such as your compatibility the app size you've got a link to the developer website here which is nice to have and you've got some related apps at the bottom so it's all nicely laid out now I can show you what happens when you buy try buying an app or put or just downloading a free app on the new app store so if I tap it you'll see it will uh, wait a bit and then it will launch something which is if you've used Apple Pay it looks very similar so this is an interface which gives you the app tells you how much you're being paid you're being billed for it gives you information displays your account there obviously that's blurred out for you uh, and then uh, gives you some you know the, the ratings and what age this app is suitable for and then all you have to do is put your finger on touch ID I'm obviously not going to do that I don't really want to be just buying this app because it's not something that I uh, particularly need at the moment but I've got pay with touch ID paste my finger on touch ID and it will scan my fingerprint and then make the purchase and then instantly start downloading it so that's a nice uh, new interface I prefer that over the previous one it gives more of the information that you need when you're buying an app so I think that's a nice thing to have here we've got updates so you've got your pending updates here so I've got quite a few I think I've got 22 uh, so I've got to go and update these but you've got your update all button and if you want to view more information about an update tap more and you get a nice little pop-up 
in the middle of the screen which tells you all about that and then you can scroll through them and uh, view your update your apps that need updating and then finally we've got search here and choose for example on the uh, stick or something let's choose pages for example let's go and hit search and then I get my uh, search results here four apps per screen so nice big imagery and you get everything right here you got your filters at the top so you can filter things by uh, different uh, parameters if you want to get something and refine your results to what exactly what you need and you can tap done uh, to return back to your main search field but that's basically it for the App Store in iOS 11. It's a massive redesign. Um, unfortunately, the iTunes Store didn't actually get the same sort of treatment, so it's still the same iTunes Store that we known before. But hopefully, that will be getting an update uh, with the later version of iOS. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you've got any questions or comments on anything in this video, or you just want any general tech support with your Apple devices, then do let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section below. You can also get in contact with me using the details that are in the description of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and also subscribe by clicking the logo in the middle of the screen. And also do consider watching the videos either side of that logo. Thank you very much for watching. Look out for more videos on iOS 11 and macOS High Sierra, and I'll see you in my next video.